Okay. Hey, my name is Ellie Joker. I am a comedian, rapper, entertainer. I live in Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, not married, still single, still looking for the right one. Maybe that's you. Call me, call Hamish, do something. <laughs> Uh, and I'm a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> I have a streaming show called The Pink Taxi. I've been doing it for the last two years. This is my fifth episode. The Pink Taxi is me driving around in a pink taxi interviewing people and having conversations with all sorts of people normal people and when i say normal people it means they don't necessarily have to be famous or celebrities hi hi <laughs> 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 the sierra man and the main goal is to show the differences and show um, how people can be different but still have a conversation. De 700.000 er muslimer, og dem er der formentlig ikke den eneste, som er god til at blive boende. Jo, måske en Carter, kan man sige. Ikke? We left Iran or fled Iran uh, when I was three because my dad, he was a political refugee. Uh, he was not happy about the Atollah when they came in 79, so my dad uh, had a death sentence. So one morning, uh, afternoon, my dad and my mom came and said, now it's time to leave. And we packed our stuff. And, and when I say packed our stuff, meaning the clothes that we were wearing, and we just started walking towards the Turkish border. As a child or as a kid, I uh, live in Denmark, um, those were the golden days, as I call them, the sweet 90s, where people actually in Denmark came together. And it was a socialist country where everybody, there was room enough for everyone. Denmark has changed since 9-11. Um, politics in Denmark has changed. The last two elections has um, had the main focus were Muslims and refugees. We talk a lot about how Muslims are not fully integrated in Denmark. Oh, I have to prove myself often that I am a Dane because it's like a daily thing that we discuss in the media and especially during the election. When are you a Dane and what is the definition of a real Dane? And still to this day, and I'm almost 40, I still don't know what a real Dane is. Is it that you have ancestors or Vikings? Personally, I believe being a Dane is being open-minded, acceptance of other people, democratic, open-hearted, because that was how the situation was when I came here in the 80s. We were greeted with love and we were very welcome and things have changed during the last 18 years. I still feel like it is my home. It is where I was, where I was raised and where I've had my whole life. My home, this is where my mom is. So wherever my mom is, is where I would define home. But I'm not Danish, I'm Persian. <laughs> and I'm a human being, so I never define myself as a full Dane or full Persian. I say I'm a person, a human being. Um, I don't like labels. I define myself as a, a gray zone, child but now I'm not a child anymore and I'm an adult but the gray zone is basically a limbo land where you don't really fit in in the Danish community neither the Persian community so you're kind of in the middle with a foot in each camp. 
for a person like me that likes to provoke and be a rebel and be different and have an opinion of my own, um, I don't really get along with the real extreme Muslims and I don't really get along with the other, like the right uh, wing. So for me, it's like no, none of these wings really like me. I'm just like in between this gray zone. My name is Ali. I'm out. It was a pleasure. La 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 la. <laughs> 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 Is that good?